Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a LAMP stack on Ubuntu hosted on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine. So for that, you need to click on get it now and then you need to click on continue. After that, you would be brought to this product page from where you need to click on create and then you would be brought to this page where you can customize your virtual machine. So Choose the subscription that you have, choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call my virtual machine as LAMP and then this is a very crucial step to choose the region where you want your virtual machine to be deployed. After that, scroll on and make sure that the image which is selected is the one that you got from the link in the description box and make sure that the size is according to your requirements and then you have the authentication type. So you can go with either the SSH public key access or password protected access. So for the sake of this tutorial, I am going to go with the SSH public key and then give yourself a username. So I'm going to give CIS as my username and then click on review plus create to start the validation process. Once the validation is successful, simply click on create and then you would be prompted to download the private key and create resource. So click on it and download this private key in a secure folder because again, this is the private key that you would be using to access the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. After that, you need to simply wait for the deployment process to complete. And by the way, this marketplace listing comes with a complete LAMP stack, which means that it includes Apache Web Server, PHP, PHP My Admin, MySQL, and Let's Encrypt. Once the deployment process is complete, the next step is to access the SSH terminal of our virtual machine. So for that, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, simply click on connect and choose SSH. After that, you can see this command right over here. So copy this command and paste it inside either a command prompt or a PowerShell. And after pasting this command, simply replace this private key path for the path where you have downloaded your private key. After replacing the private key, simply hit enter. And when you are prompted, type in yes and hit enter once more. After that, you would be able to access the SSH terminal of your virtual machine. Now, in this SSH terminal, the very first thing that I want to do is that I want to create a new user for my SQL or maybe I want to change the root user's password for my SQL. So for that, I need to access my SQL with administrative purposes. So I'm going to type in the command my SQL space double hyphen user equal to root space double hyphen password. And then it is going to ask us for the current password. So the password is my SQL 1234 and then hit enter. Now I have successfully accessed my SQL shell. So now I want to alter the root user for its password. So click the link in the description box to go to the step by step blog post guide. And on this page, you would see these commands. So copy the last two lines of this command. And as you can see, we're altering the root user and we're giving it this password. So if you want to give a different password, simply replace this text. And then after copying these lines, paste it inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now this is a way of altering the root user. But what if you do not want to use the root user for your LAMP stack websites or for your MySQL database? What if you want to create a new user for that? Go back to the blog post and scroll down and you would see these commands. So copy these commands. So as you can see, we are creating a new user with the name new user. And this is the password that we are giving it. So replace this user accounts name and the password according to your want and then paste them inside the SSH terminal and then hit enter. With this, you have not only altered the root user, but you have also created a new user for MySQL. Now the question is, how do you manage and access the database using a GUI interface? So the answer is very simple. We can access the PHP My Admin portal. So for that, simply head back to portal.azure from where click on overview and then you can see this public IP address. So copy this IP address and paste it inside a new tab. After that, simply follow this IP address with PHP My Admin and then hit enter. This is going to open up the PHP My Admins portal for your virtual machine. Now you can use the username, either the one that you created, which is new user in my case, or you can go with the root user and then type in the respective password and then hit go. After that, you would be able to access your PHP My Admin dashboard. From here, you can manage databases, check SQL, check status and user accounts and so much more. Now, let's head back to LAMP stack. So what if I want to create a new website using the LAMP stack? For that, I simply need to first exit from MySQL database shell by typing in the command quit and then hit enter. And then 
we have this command sudo lamp space add. This is going to add a new website to our lamp stack. And when I hit enter, it is going to ask me for our server name. So for the server name, I'm going to type in CIS. And then it is going to ask us for the website's root directory, which by default it has set to CIS. So I'm going to go with the default one by pressing enter. And then as you can see, it is asking us for the administrator email address. So I'm going to type in test at test.com. But make sure to type in a valid email because this is the email that you would use to access the admin portal for your website. And then it is asking us if you want to create a database and user with the same name. If you want to create it, then type in yes and hit enter. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to just keep it to lamp website. So I'm going to press no and then hit enter. And then it is asking us if we want to give an SSL certificate to the created website using the let's encrypt. So if we want to give the certificate, type in yes and then hit enter. But again, for this tutorial, I'm just keeping it simple pressing no and hitting enter. So everything is done. We can even check the website by going into this default directory of our website, which is CD space forward slash data. So forward slash www and then hit enter. And in here to list all the websites, we can split type LS and then hit enter. So as you can see that our website is successfully set up in this CIS folder. So all that there's left to do is that to actually code out our website. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this video. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section and we'll get to you as soon as possible. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.